Hello and welcome again. Today's video is going to be about showing the new teleport script that we've included in VR Easy 1.1. The project that you have in front of you has the Steam VR and the VR Easy package already imported. The reason I'm including Steam VR is because I want to demonstrate the teleport by using the Steam VR controller. But note that the teleport does not require to have the Steam VR controller or the Steam VR um, plugin. It just makes it easy to demonstrate. In this scene, I have the camera rig prefab, which comes from Steam VR, which will allow us to use both the controllers and the headset. And then I've added also a plane to add this floor as we move along. Now, in order to use the new teleport features, you need to add a the script teleport, which you can find in VR Easy scripts, movement, teleport controller, drag and drop to whichever controller, which is the game object you want to use as a teleport controller. In this case, I'm going to use my right Steam VR controller. And you can see a set of features and properties that need to be set up to use it. Most of them we're not going to cover are so very self-explanatory, and if you do have questions about them, please do check the manual that comes with VR Easy. Two of the things that we do have to set up is this property, HMD parent object. This is the game object that represents your head or your player. In this case, it's the entire camera rig. So we're going to drag and drop here uh, so we can move around. If you were using the main camera, then as a, as a HMD, then that would be your HMD parent object. Then the second property that I want to pay attention to is trigger. By now, if you've been using VR Easy, you should be familiar with uh, our concept of triggers. These are just uh, input events that a particular script can listen to. In this case, this trigger is going to be used to activate the teleport functionality. So because I'm using the Steam controller, I'm going to use the Steam controller trigger. I'm going to link it. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to see that Steam controller grab script. And I'm going to co configure its button. I want it to mimic the teleport features that um, some of the uh, games that are already in Steam um, utilize. So I'm going to use the touchpad to trigger the teleport functionality. So I'm going to select the teleport the uh, touchpad um, button, which corresponds to axis zero, and we should be good to go. Let's see how that works. So here I have my right controller, and when I press the touchpad, you can see that there's a, a parable being drawn, which determines uh, the destination, it's the way users select the destination. When I let go of the touchpad, my player teleports to that new location. You can see that we've introduced a little bit of a fade-in, fade-out animation in between tra transport movements uh, to minimize the motion sickness effect that sudden movements have in VR. Now, if you go out of range, you can see how the curve change its color just to give a visual feedback of this is an invalid location to be teleported to. Now, before I say goodbye, I, I'd like just to um, tell you how is it that Unity, how is it that the teleport controller knows whether a particular location is a valid one or not? And for that, you have to look at the teleport controller walkable layer property. So this property is going to determine which layers, or which objects belonging to which layers are going to be walkable. So in this case we have a default walkable layer and our plane you can see that belongs to the default layer. Now if I quickly change this to for instance water and I hit press again, you can see that now all of a sudden the plane floor is no longer walkable. And as I said, that's because the teleport controller 
only allows walking in the default layer. If I change that to auto, hit plus again, I, I regain the ability to walk again, I suppose, on Porter. All right, so that was it for today. Thank you for watching.